All right, kiddos, let's start with part two of significant figures. We did part one where we talked about the rules and I wrote out the rules and said, hey, this is how you count the zeros and trailing and leading and all that stuff. Um, in this part of the video, though, I think I'm going to show you a what I think for many of you all will be a slightly easier way to figure things out. Um, and that's because it's not quite as rule heavy. There's essentially only two rules with it. So if you're wondering why I drew this like dinosaur looking thing here, this is, this is the United States. Okay, I know. It doesn't look anything like the United States. I can't draw. I majored in chemistry and history, not art. Uh, so this is the United States. And so as we know, there's an ocean on each side, right? So on one side of the United States is the Atlantic. And on the other side is the Pacific. And so this is, we could call this uh, model, we could call this the ocean model, or most of the time it's just called the Atlantic Pacific model. Um, and so there's essentially just two rules um, that go for the Atlantic Pacific model or the ocean model of doing sig figs. Okay, so here's the only two rules for the Atlantic Pacific model. And you'll see that the rules are a lot easier. Essentially, here's the way it works. If there's no decimal in the number, you're going to go from the Atlantic side, which means you're going to start at the right-hand side and go to the left. If there is a decimal in the number, that's Pacific, so that means you start with the left-hand side and then go to the right. Now, what do I mean by go to the left and go to the right? That means that you start counting, okay? So you start counting your significant figures, you start counting the numbers at the first non-zero digit, okay? And then once you get to a non-zero digit, then you keep counting, okay? No matter if it's zeros or non-zeros. So let's see what that means. So we got 162 meters. No decimal given in the number, and this one it doesn't really matter anyway, but there's no decimal given in the number. So I'm going to start on the Atlantic side, and we're going to count. So we're going to count one, two, three. That means there are three significant figures. Okay, great. So that, I mean, we're all like, that's all non-zeros. I didn't even need that. So where the, what happens when there are zeros, and what happens when there are decimals? Okay. So 0 0.0023 seconds, there is a decimal, so that means I'm going to start on the Pacific side, which means I'm going to start on the left, and I'm going to work my way this way. Remember that you don't start counting until you get to the non-zero numbers, okay? So I don't count that, I don't count that, I don't count that, because those are zeros. And so then when I get over here, that's my first non-zero, my second non-zero, two significant figures. That's the essential basics of Atlantic Pacific, but let me work a couple of more examples to make sure that everybody's okay with it. All right, so we've got three more numbers up here now. What, what do we do about these? Well, we're going to do the Atlantic Pacific model again. So first number, no decimal, Atlantic. I'm going to start on the right-hand side, and I'm going to not count until I get to the first non-zero. So I don't count this. I don't count this. One, two. So that's two significant figures. Okay, for the next one, things are going to change up a little bit because for the next one, I do have a decimal, so it's Pacific, which means I'm going to start from the Pacific side, from the, from the left-hand side. First non-zero is here, and then after you hit the first non-zero, everything counts, even zeros. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and that gives me four significant figures. All right, so pretty straightforward so far. So... What happens if we've got like zeros at both ends? Okay, it doesn't matter. This is what makes this way a little bit easier than the last set of rules because all I'm worried about is, is there a decimal? There is a decimal in this number. Start counting at the first non-zero. So I'm going to skip these numbers because they're zeros. There's my first non-zero coming from the left, from the Pacific. Okay, so that counts. And then everything after that counts. Counts, counts, and counts. That is four significant figures. Now, you could go back with your old rules and figure all of those out as well. You could have said, hey, leading zeros don't count. That's a captive zero. That's a zero after the decimal place, so that matters. Okay, any of those ways would have worked as well. But I think Atlantic Pacific gives it a nice little simplicity um, for students that might be struggling with a little bit. And I hope maybe that that might um, help a few of you all really get, get a good grasp on this pretty simply. Thanks a lot, kiddos.